Hello. Um, as I am editing this video, I want to just uh, post a little disclaimer first. Uh, the most of this video is we are uh, we are hiking, getting to our final destination. Um, the entire the entire day of the video you're going to see, we thought we are at one location, and it turned out we weren't there. Um, it was only until after I, I got back here to the cabin and downloaded the GPS contents that uh, I realized we fell short of our final destination by, yeah, I don't know, give or take maybe a quarter mile. It wasn't a lot, but it was just a short distance. So um, the uh, we had a good time. There's not, I'm not, co not complaining about not being there. It's just didn't realize that we still had a little more ways to go than, uh, than we did. So, um, as you're watching this, just keep in mind I am, I am not where I think I am. And uh, all that being said, I'll let you get to the video now. Good morning. It was, uh, it was suggested by my friends Papa and Carrie um, to, for us to do a, an easier um, hike out to Angel Falls Overlook. So today, um, parked at the end of Alfred Smith Road, and we're going to hike the top of the ridge, which I think is all part of the Grand Gap Loop Trail, um, out to Angel Falls Overlook. Uh, it's kind of an overcasty sort of day. Sun's peeking out here and there, but it, it's still cool temperature. Should be nice for a hike, and uh, it's clear enough. Should have some good views from the Overlook. It's been a it's been a while since we've been to the Overlook, and the last time we did, we hiked it from the bottom up, and it was a, uh, it was a nice hike. It was pretty strenuous though, so I'm uh, gonna forego that anything like that this trip, and uh, um, that, and we've never been this way before, so it should be something new, uh, relatively easy, and uh, thought we'd take you along. Yep. So we are parked up there. There's all the intersections of where we're at, and I'm going to just head this way, which should connect right up there at the top of the trail that's right beside the truck. And yes, it is going to connect with the same little trail that I parked the truck at. One mystery solved. And this is both part of the John Muir Trail and the Sheltoe Trace. It's a pretty low trail. Easy to walk. Fairly wide. It's pretty enjoyable. So, like I said, it's a pretty little trail. Um, again, mixed hardwoods and pines. Now, a lot of rhododendron and mountain laurel. One of the sadder stories out here, um, I think Carrie will tell it better than I do, but Smith family lived out here. They had a young son, Archie. Um, 
didn't live very long, obviously. Uh, six, seven months. But um, he is the the first of what should have been a family cemetery on the Smith property. And then as the depression got worse and people had to seek jobs elsewhere, um, the father sought work in uh, Oak Ridge um, during the World War II years and stuff. To And they packed up and moved away. And so little Archie is just left behind. Okay, can you not just picture little rabbits running in and out of there, playing tag, chasing each other around? It's kind of cool, huh? So, right off the trail here, it's a nice little campsite for some of the long distance hikers and stuff on the Shell Toey Trace or the John Muir. It's a nice. Nice flat, clear spot. And we must be getting close because I can see the other side of the ridge ahead of us, right here in the low spot of the trees. So, should be nearing there. So here we go. We are coming up into the overlook. You can hear the river down below. It's been quite a few years since we've been here. But I've never done it from the top though. This is pretty enjoyable really. We just passed one hiker coming out of here, so we should have this place to ourselves for a while. Look at this, isn't this pretty? Oh, yeah. That's the big South Fork River down there. And what you can hear but not see is Falls Branch. I don't know if it's a creek or if it's just calling it a branch, but anyhow, Falls Branch. And it runs through the gorge down here. Um, Years back ago, at Falls Branch Falls, um, upstream of this, is the waterfall I almost fell off of. Was a few minutes ago with the binoculars, I was staring into this rock face over here. 
Try not to shake too much. I got a fly landing on my hand too. That's that's pretty impressive rock face. And I'm trying to do this without moving around too much. If you take the hike up from the bottom uh, at Leatherwood Ford and come around, I think on this rock face right over there. It sounds worse than it really was, but there are some really good rocks uh, with some steel cable and you had to kind of shimmy around this one and over that one and then get back on the trail. And I think that was right over in that area right there. So. That's about it for, I guess, this little trip. Um, it, it was pretty enjoyable. Nice, easy hike to get out here when, from the way we went. The drive-in was uh, kind of a little mini-adventure on its own. Not used to driving too many of the little, uh, I guess you can call them roads still, but uh, I'd call them paths. Um, that, was, that was kind of fun. Uh, Carrie and Papa, I want to thank you guys for suggesting that we take it from this direction because uh, it was really easy for my wife to do this one. So um, this this overlook is really, really one of my favorites. Uh, so we're going to end this here and uh, just want to thank you guys for watching. See you next time.